Dry clicking is a huge advantage in Minecraft PvP, but because of hand oil and many other possible factors like the mouse texture wearing off, dry clicking gets harder and harder until it's nearly impossible the longer you use your mouse. In this video, I'm going to be giving you three ways to make a better dry clicking surface on your mouse so you can keep dry clicking as long as you want. The first method I have is one of the best. I call this the eraser method. This method creates a very grippy surface on your mouse button and you can barely see it. All you need for this method is to order one of these latex free erasers. The ones that I recommend are linked in the description and rub it on your mouse buttons. The eraser rubs off the hanged oil and replaces it with a matte rubber like surface that is straight up perfect for drag clicking. This method is for people who like to see the designs on their mouse like the A60, but it's a very temporary fix. The surface only lasts for about one hour of constant play. But if the mouse gets slippery while you're using this method, you can just add more. If I would rate this out of 10 for the best method, I'd give it a solid eight because the only downside is that it only lasts for a short time because the texture is perfect. If you want a longer lasting method, Try using tape. This method is the most popular way to improve drag clicking on mice, but there are specific tapes you should buy in order to get the best results. First of all, don't use scotch tape or duct tape on your mouse. The best tape to use on your mouse that I've used are masking tape and electrical tape. The number one tape that I've personally been using is electrical tape because the masking tape I use gets super oily really fast. I'll have the tapes linked down below in the description as well if you want to use them. All you have to do is place it over the mouse buttons. And this method gets a 9 out of 10. But wait, don't click off the video yet. There's still one more method that will make your mouse better for drag clicking before you need to go out and buy tape or erasers. And that's just to clean your mouse. All you need to do is grab a small towel or even a paper towel. Run it under some slightly warm water, not hot, not cold, until the towel is lightly soaked. Squeeze as much water out of the towel as you can and wipe down your entire mouse, not just the buttons. Make sure to clean your mouse like this as often as you can. The longer your hand oil sits on the mouse, the more the stock texture gets damaged and wears off. I'd recommend cleaning your mouse every day after you finish playing. But if your stock texture for your mouse has already worn off, you can still use the two methods above for great results. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. YouTube says that only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't already subscribed and you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Because these videos take so much time and effort to make. Anyways, that was it. If you have any ideas for future videos, comment them down below, and I will see you in the next video.